pact is done. There is no going back. As long as the Undying Queen reigns, I am never to soar unbound over the Astral Sea. Never to cross the One in the Void. As it should be. Better a short life built on truth than immortality woven of lies. Better to unite the Githyanki under a prince who would free their minds and honor their bodies. So why do I feel so bitter? Vlakith has upended Lazel's whole existence. Everything she knew to be true, every plan and aspiration she ever held has been painfully ripped away. Lazel's bitterness is born of sadness. She is mourning the loss of the person she once was and can never be again. How well you've come to know me. But in truth, she didn't take everything. I have what I have gathered for myself. I'm more to a new regent, a new land, and new allies. Vlaketh cannot unmake she who no longer exists. And so from the old battle cries is birthed another. Tmar Sala Orpheus must still now forge an Inyeri. Orpheus's will above all. May the comet blaze my path forward. Orpheus's freedom is my want and my need. To deny his freedom would be to deny my own. There will come a time when I can think about myself beyond the Lich Queen who enslaves the Githyanki and the Prince who would liberate them. But that time won't come until the Prince of the Comet flies again. Vlaketh's left hand and her right. Commander of all dragons, chosen of the Queen Regent. Not since Vlaketh won has a Bart to Vlaketh been anointed. <sighs> Another empty promise. Only a naive fool would believe otherwise. The kind of fool I was not so long ago. We find Voss at Charesse's caress and retrieve the key to releasing the prince. Orpheus Tufki Narsin.